Hey, this is the last full day in Venice. I think we're heading off to the market first and then we might go to Murano. So let's go. coming to market but um, all the things here it's like fresh seafood and fresh vegetables and I just don't have the time to kind of buy these ingredients and cook it up myself next time I come back to Venice I'll probably stay a little bit longer kind of buy my own ingredients and um, yeah cook up some delicious seafood yeah so it's gonna go grab some food now This market's great, you know, there's fresh fruit, veg, seafood, but there's no food. So to go to our hotel for the night, we need to cross the river. The quickest way is actually take a boat. We bought our tickets yesterday. Drew us 20, 20 euros. We're going to fully utilize that ticket and go to Murano after we've dropped off um, our bags in the hotel. Okay, this is our stop. We are approaching a bridge with two suitcases. I think the Venice government should invest in some ramps. Oh. And this really huh? sucks, isn't it? Come on, look this. This is the hotel for the night. Oh, fancy entrance. Chandeliers. I've never had a, a tour of a hotel room before. That was a bit of a first. And we're right next to the river as well. The hotel that we're staying in is actually, there's a complimentary uh, tour that takes us from Venice to Murano. But we're gonna stay there for a little bit longer. I'm gonna take the public one back to this hotel. So we probably didn't need to spend the 20 euros per day ticket, but it's all right. in the glass factory. It was really, really nice. It's a family business that's been around for about 800 years. If you like glass and stuff, you know, you should definitely check it out and definitely buy some as well. Just walking to the, um, to get the boat to Burano now. We're like really hungry because we only had like a, a roll this morning. That's the key to Burano. So while Mel waits for waiting queue, I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna go grab something to eat first. I'm pretty sure the food is probably gonna be average, but I'm just too, just too hungry.
place where we're going to be having lunch, the Primo. Now this place was recommended by uh, this gentleman uh, at a glass factory. We made a reservation while we're on a boat coming here at uh, 2.45. Uh, it's about to oh! uh, I just dropped you. Looks pretty cool. We're sitting outside. Just going to check out what they have to offer. And uh, we're going to have a quick lunch here. Explore Burano a little bit more. And then we might head back to our uh, bed. Our food is here now. We got some grilled fish, sea bream, some sole, squid. Now we're having some uh, cuttlefish ink and spaghetti, and uh, some really funky looking fries. I'm just gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, and some balsi balsi. This is this fed spaghetti with the cuttlefish. <laughs> mm, it's delicious, it's really good. Spaghetti is al dente, not over seasoned. Because the fish is really tender, really soft. Great flavour. Got some grilled fish here. Um, bone on, exactly how I like it. I mean, it's cooked perfectly. It just kind of flakes away, away from the bone. Look at that. This definitely needs some. Um, Lemon juice. Still really juicy inside as well, and you have a great crust on the surface. Mm. Doesn't need any extra seasoning. It's great by itself. Lemon juice, that citrus taste, really just kind of elevates that freshness of that seafood. So good. We'll try a piece of this. It smells really great. Add that really nice charry flavour. That smokiness. Alright, I'm gonna try some of this squid now. Look at that. See that crust on that on that surface? That's great flavour basically. Mm. Did you hear that? That tentacle is like crispy, really tender meat, great flavour from that crust. It's really good. And it goes so well with these fries as well. The lunch was a success, it was really good. Nice grilled fish. Um, the pasta was really good as well. It's about four o'clock now on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, we just want to sit back and chill now and hopefully so adventurous today. So we'll probably just find a cafe, uh, get a coffee, maybe some sweets, and then we're gonna take the, the boat ride back to Venice. We'll see you when we get back to Venice. We're having more gelato, because that's what you do in Italy. We'll get some espressos now. It's a very good. Together, my producer. Did you make this? Yes. What's this called? This Italian donut. Donut. Just donut. Say, um, Venetia, Veneziana. This is George. Yes. George very made good. these. Pritella. 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 Oops. 